As the sun sets on the historic town of Gettysburg, we prepare the public for perhaps the most terrifying experience of their lives. These are the true tales from the most haunted town in America. These are the Gettysburg Ghost Files. Tonight on Gettysburg Ghost Files, we are at the historic Fairfield Inn with 105.7 X, the People's Morning Show. Is that my best radio voice I got? <laughs> So at tonight, we are here with 105.7 The X uh, Morning Show with Nipsey Earl and Jen Shade, hopefully to catch some really cool evidence tonight at the Fairfield Inn. I am Jen Shade, I'm from 105.7 The X, originally from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, but in Fairfield at the historic Fairfield Inn, way out of my normal zone. Uh, we are on a ghost hunt. We call it the People's Ghost Hunt uh, because we bring a lot of our radio listeners out to locations where they get the equipment and we're looking to see if we can find any evidence of the paranormal. The historic Fairfield Inn has been in operation since 1757. Over the years, the inn has developed a reputation for being extremely haunted. In past investigations, we have experienced a high level of paranormal activity and tonight, it would prove to be no different. Can I get a little less nerve wracking? And I have to say, I'm a little tiny bit starstruck with you guys here tonight because I listen to you on the morning show and it's just like a okay, yeah. big deal for me. <laughs> I almost caught myself. My name is Jenna and I'm the Marketing and Business Development Manager at the Historic Fairfield Inn 1757 in Fairfield, PA. My first week working here, I left the office and I came downstairs and I turned the corner over here towards the hallway to the bathroom and there was a broom standing in the middle of the floor, um, standing straight up. My second experience was over July 4th weekend. Um, we had a full house that day, but we only had two guests in their room. Everyone else was already out in Gettysburg exploring. I was up in the office and I heard someone downstairs yelling, ma'am, ma'am, miss, miss. So I came running downstairs and there was nobody here. My third was um, I was walking up the stairs on the second floor landing and um, out of the corner of my eye as I was walking upstairs, I caught a black shadow figure um, kind of dart behind me and into the wall. Um, I didn't bother to stay and check it out at first. I kind of um, ran into the office and slammed the door behind me. We are currently at the Fairfield Inn doing an investigation along with 105.7 x which is Central Pennsylvania's leading rock station. We are at a specialty location, as we like to call it. We come here every so often, but this is my first time being here, so it's a different experience for me. Uh, where are we? Okay. Fairfield Inn. Uh Nipsey, take one. Nipsey from the People's Morning Show, part of the uh, Great People's Morning Show. We're at the Fairfield Inn, part of the Gettysburg Ghost Tours, Ghost Hunt with the People. We've been doing these for years now. Spooky and the guys here do such a fantastic job. and We always seem to find some kind of evidence and it's pretty consistent. Uh, no matter what location we go to, whether it's that frightening Tilly Pierce house where we stayed over one night, or whether it's here, we've had a lot of great activity tonight. Now this knob here is going all the way up to 12, 21, 26. What do you have to see? Why is that, Rob? No idea. This millimeter activity is through the roof. I just went to 134. So both numbers are changing. Yeah, so both numbers are changing simultaneously. Oh my gosh. This is so much fun. It's, it's really indescribable. It's something that you have to do yourself because it's not like the movies, but it's kind of more like the science and serious business, but it's also a whole lot of fun at the same time. So, and it has a little bit of a scary element. We're running around here in the dark. Thank you. Walter, I know you like the, I know you like the green to red light but could you not touch the meter for a moment, please? Thank you. If somebody else is in here other than 
<laughs> These damn Taurus. <laughs> if you've never done it, if you're a skeptic, if you're a believer, you gotta at least get out here and try it once. You come out here, they'll take you to all different places. Everyone's experience varies. They're not all the same. But for me, this is the best one I've ever been on. Skeptics? If you're a skeptic, please come on out and give it a try. You, you, you be my guest. <laughs> I don't know how I felt about it at first, but this is something. It, there's too much evidence to say that there's nothing there. I think it was the Patrick Henry room. I think that's what it was. And the cabinets were opening without us doing anything at all. They opened two different times. Two different times. It's pretty crazy. So this here is the Patrick Henry room. Uh, this is where we had the most activity uh, right off the bat, the first room we checked. And it was with this uh, set of cabinets here, this, uh, this dresser rather, these doors down here. Now, uh, there is like a magnetic little like lock on it, so you can't pull it like super easy. But what happened was the first time we experienced it, the door opened on its own all the way out, completely out. And the second time was when we were about to leave, we said, you know, goodbye to the to the spirit or the ghost or what have you. And then the drawers, both of them opened and left it like this. And it really creeped us out because nobody was touching it, no one did anything. All we simply did was say goodbye and they opened on their own. After experiencing activity in nearly every room, it is safe to say that the historic Fairfield Inn did not disappoint. We want to thank Jen, Earl, and Nipsey for being part of our investigation and invite you, the viewer, to join us on our next People's Ghost Hunt. Should you choose to spend the night at the historic Fairfield Inn, be warned, for you might receive an unexpected visitor while you sleep. This has been a glimpse into the world of Gettysburg's active nightlife. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can join us for the next episode of Gettysburg Ghost Files.